Mira, mira, mira. Look who we have here, guys, 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 guys. guys. Look who we have here. The MVP. Duke has returned. Hey, hey, do us a favor. Hey, 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 Mato, do us a favor, huh? Can you do the you, you, you? you. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 we're just joking, man. We're just joking. Hey, hey, you mind if I hold it? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll take good care of it. Oh, it's no, look at that. 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 This is a beat the clock challenge for placement in the last stand rumble. Introducing first from Houston, Texas, this is Hans Steer. Welcome into another edition of the reality of wrestling here, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going to get started. Hans Steel here for the beat the clock challenge. The metal made man looking to make a splash here and maybe enter himself into the last end rumble at a high entry. And his opponent. Tomah Beckham making his way here to the ring. Wait a what? minute. Teron Beckham was taken out. It looked like by Dex Dixon in the back there. And is Teron Beckham? Wait, here comes Andrew Andrew Jackson's there. Andrew Jackson is conferring with uh, ring announcer Chris Russo. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by our executive manager Andrew Jackson that Teron Beckham must still report to the ring when the bell rings. And if he cannot answer the 10 count, he will forfeit this match. What? Han Steele happy about that. Yeah, he might have an easy in. So there's the bell. We've gotten to the count of 10. We're up to two. Two. Well, I mean, we saw him get laid out there in the back by Dex Dixon. Yeah, that, that would take out anybody. I don't care your size. And Hans is strength, asking him to wait, count what? faster. Hold on. Wait, wait Look there. At this. To Ron Beckham. We're up to eight. But to Ron, able to make it oh. in. And now okay, Hans. Well now we're starting the count here. The count has officially started. Remember the time to beat two minutes and eight seconds. And Hans Steele oh. taking the advantage. And look at this here, Hans. Oh, oh. he got caught. Teron Beckham. Oh. Oh. Belly, belly super. Cover. Cover one, two, and just oh like that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Here is your winner, Teron Beckham. 19 seconds was all it took for Teron Beckham to put away Hans Steele. And that my has, God! That must be a new record for a beat the clock challenge. 19 seconds, and Teron Beckham has now solidified himself with a top 15 pick in the last stand rumble. Absolutely incredible performance here from Teron Beckham. You've got to imagine that Dex Dixon is in the back right now. Not happy at all with this development. No, not happy at all. I agree. Teron Beckham, victorious. So, Mr. Lockhart, I hear you have a grievance you like there. As if you don't know, there was supposed to be a contract signing for the Lockhart Television Championship that you turned into a tables match. He stole the title from me. I want my championship opportunity tonight. Stole some very strong ones. You know what? Now that I think about it, you do deserve a championship opportunity. Yeah, I've been keeping things running smoothly. You know what? You will have a championship opportunity with Easy Chains. <laughs> Buckle up, kid. No, uh, no, 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 no. It will not be for the television championship. Oh, no. But what it will be 
It's great TV. It will be Eric Lockhart, Easy James, or the Tag Team Championships. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I don't do that anymore. Well, that's butter, baby. No, I like so it. You like it? That's good. I like that's it. Good. <laughs> hey, hey, good luck tonight, partner. Yeah, Andrew. No, you yeah. kidding me? Houston, Texas. For four decades, Walker, Texas lawyer has represented the beautiful people of this beautiful city. But we know in this city, an accident can happen at any moment. Don't go against the insurance companies alone. They have their lawyers. You should have yours. If you've been injured in an accident, call Walker, Texas lawyer today and put four decades of experience on your side. Visit WalkerTexasLawyer.com today. Exactly what happened, a contract signing turned into an impromptu championship tables match. And that ended with Izzy James claiming that championship that you see around his waist. But uh, what just happened with Andrew Jackson was very interesting. The wording that he used, that Eric Lockhart will get a t uh, championship match with Izzy James. But he didn't say tagging with him. This is, gonna, this is gonna be very interesting to see if these two can even get on the same page. Can you imagine Izzy as a double champion? It could happen tonight. Maybe the second time in row history. And his tag team partner from New Richmond, Wisconsin, by way of Orlando, Florida, Eric Well, Izzy James found it to be a bit comical that he and Eric would have to work together. I think the one that's not happy about that is Eric Lockhart, Brittany. Well, that's the thing is, Izzy James has no bad blood, per se, with Eric wait, Lockhart. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Eric Lockhart taking the television championship. I feel, well, you know, possession is nine-tenths of the law. I think that should be outlawed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric Lockhart, the smoothest. The smoothest. The smoothest. He is, he is pretty damn smooth. That's hashtag facts. Hashtag facts. They've still got a huge test ahead of them, though, as they are meeting with Rudy Garza and the face of fear, Bo Amir. wrestler but this is the first time he has been in a tag team match here at reality wrestling since christmas chaos 2015. wow so nearly a decade since eric lockhart has wrestled in a tag team match here at the road but look izzy james also one half of the longest reigning tag team champions in reality of wrestling history so both men held these championships before but never did i think that they'd be tagging together to add a little bit more fuel to the fire here brad the reason that those two started fighting over the television championship was in the very first match we had in this arena where Eric Lockhart and Izzy James were in a triple threat match with that man right there, Rudy Garza. For the television championship, yes. That's when Eric actually won the title. 
So a lot, a lot of uh, familiarity. This is all connections. Tonight. I feel like there's some kind of like conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of red twine yeah. and bulletin boards. <laughs> but now look at this, trying to decide who starts the match. Eric Lockhart chooses to be the one outside. As Izzy James going to get this match started with Rudy Garza. Lots of history between these four men. And, you know, strange bedfellows sometimes make the best partners. You know, sometimes. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I mean, we we thought that it was pretty strange that Bo Amir and Rudy Garza were together. And now look at them. They're champions. So, you know, like you said, the, the odd couple can definitely make it work. The gutter snake Izzy James has control of that wrist to get things started here. As what? you can see him already getting uh, instructed by Eric Lockhart on what to do. Well, you know what? Like I said, Eric uh, Eric is uh, he's a tag team specialist, as is Izzy James. Eric Lockhart gets that elbow to the shoulder of Rudy Garza. And here we go once again with the wrist lock. Oh, this time Rudy Garza, though. Oh, and... Breaks the eyes, and now we get a tag to Bo Amir. And Eric oh, Lockhart immediately... Dear. Regrets his decision of tagging into this matchup. Stepping back a little ways. That's a big guy. That's a very seven foot tall. A mountain of a man. And look at this, Izzy James and Eric Lockhart now arguing about who should face Bohemia. And Izzy James never wants to shy away from a challenge. Oh look, both of oh, them together. together. Oh wait, a double. Oh, oh, well. The French native, Bo Amir. Right hands connecting from the TV champion. And now with a drop kick, doesn't even face Bo Amir. May have stunned him for just a second. And a second drop kick again, just stuns Bo Amir. But this is Izzy James, he never quits. Gets caught into a very dangerous position here. Now up on the shoulders of Bo Amir. Able to slip out though. Oh, oh, and Izzy James. Look at this. Rudy Garza catches the legs from underneath. Hey. Oh. oh. Quick. Well, the, the last dual champion, from my memory, right, is Q. Mysterious Q. Who held the Reality Wrestling Championship and the Tag Team Championship at the same time. You gotta oh. imagine that Izzy James is wanting to add his name to that list right there. As it's, it's always such a rare sight. To have two championships on your shoulder, de defending them in two different oh! divisions. But he, he's got to somehow find a way to beat Bo Amir. Is that possible, Brittany? I mean, he's going to have to beat him all on his own because Eric Lockhart's just, just watching this lackadaisically from the side, not, not really trying to get his opponent or get his partner out. Now look at this, Bo Amir. Oh, lifting no. up Izzy James. And just oh, tossing wow. him like a child into the corner. Oh. And Eric Lockhart throwing the tag rope and hands on the hips, just <laughs> upset. He doesn't look enthused. No, no, not. But Rudy Garza is very enthused. He's enjoying this. Well, now Eric with the tag rope back in hand. But Bo Amir going to Rudy Garza, the former television champion. Cover here. One, two. But a kick out from Izzy James. Who could forget the incredible uh, ladder match at last oh. year's Summer of Champions? Yes. It happened to involve a couple other competitors in this match yeah. where Rudy Garza walked out victorious. He didn't even need a ladder to get that championship. Well, that was the, the start of him and Bo Amir's. Oh, look at this, Izzy James. Oh, oh there we go. Caught him with the kick. And now, Bo Amir oh, making his presence felt with that clothesline. Unable to capitalize. And look, Eric Lockhart is, is done. He's throwing in the shirt. Oh, here we go. He's, he's starting to get up. He's starting to get his tag team partner fired up. He, Eric, I think Eric started to think about it. Like, hey, you know what? It would be nice to have a championship. I mean, you lost one. You might want to get one back. So he's going for the Izzy James, inching closer to the tag. Can he's he right there. there? Is he James? Oh, oh, Eric Lockhart. Eric Lockhart took the hand away. Is he James? Not a fan. And now he is just leaving him out there to dry. 
Rudy Garza now continuing the attack here. And look at this now, it's two oh. on one. Oh, he, but he, he missed. missed. And here comes Izzy James with the right hands. Oh no, oh, but uh, Izzy still fighting back. This is why he's a champion. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh the <laughs> You just took out his partner. And these two are brawling now. It's the kind of partner he is. He's oh, so no. oh wait a minute. I don't want him coming over this way. Brad, don't push me in front of you. They already broke one table a few weeks ago. Hopefully they don't break another one. As these two are just brawling to the back. These two are brawling out here as the referee continues his... Oh! Hey, don't break things! We're up to a count of eight. This match is still going. What? Nine and... He's calling for his belts already, Ruzi. Continue the reigns as tag team champions. Well, we have more to come for you. Reality of wrestling, of course. So major matches, and Duke Hudson is in the building from NXT. Don't go where, don't go away. This is the run. Walker, Texas Ranger handles the bad guys with a roundhouse kick. I'm Jim Walker, Walker, Texas lawyer. I handle the insurance companies with a roundhouse kick to the wallet. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, give me a call at 713-552-1117 or visit my website at walkertexaslawyer.com. You'll be glad you did. Why would you call anyone else? Row Nation, this is Carolina Teague, the Mike Slayer, and I'm here joined by Clay Roberts. Clay, congratulations on your big announcement after your year-long layoff. The first thing you do is you enter the last stand rumble. How are you feeling after your big announcement? How am I feel? It's I love that you asked that question. Miss T, can I call you Miss T? I love that you asked that question because the way Clay Roberts has been feeling for a whole year-long layoff, I've been miserable. I've been sitting at home. I've been away from the thing that I love, the thing that I love. You ever been away from the thing that you love? It's a rough feeling, right? It sucks. But Clay Roberts is back. I'm back because I heard the calls of the people. I started hearing people. And it wasn't just the calls of people. My phone was ringing for people like Booker, people like Charmel. People needed me around. Why do people need me in wrestling? Wrestling has so much talent. You look at guys seven feet tall, Bo, Me Bo Meer. Seven foot tall, Mason Madden. There's so much talent here in reality of wrestling. But yet Clay Roberts is the one that got pulled back in. When I didn't even feel like being on my own two feet, you know why that is? Because Clay Roberts with one foot in the grave is still a better wrestler than most men are their old two feet. So when Clay Roberts enters into the Last Stand Rumble, it's not from trying to get my name out there. I'm not trying to make a name for myself the way most of these guys are. Clay Roberts is doing it to prove a point. Because I hear what the people want. I hear that people demand good professional wrestling. They demand great professional wrestling. And that is a niche that only I can fill, Miss Carolina. And so when Clay Roberts is back and entering into the Last Stand Rumble... It is for gold, it is for fame, it is for glory, it is for every person who has been through some crap this year. What did I do it for? I'll do it for me. You had a rough year? Pretty rough? I think we all have. I'll do it for you too. Last Stand Rump, Clay Roberts, 2024, best year in row history, best year in my history. Cristiano, always flanked with members of La Familia, El Jefe, is here. We saw what occurred with him and Duke Hudson earlier tonight. 
where he smashed the trophy, the MVP trophy of Duke Hudson, who is a Chase U graduate, I do believe. He is indeed, and just the disrespect. Oh! Primo Juanito in tow here for El Jefe. But now we await the arrival here of Duke Hudson. From Chase U, representing WWE NXT, please welcome home, Duke Hudson! Duke Hudson made his start in the professional wrestling business here at the reality of wrestling. He's not wasting any time. He's fired up, Brad. He worked hard for that MVP trophy. And you know that it was definitely almost like a shot to the heart there when Aiden Cristiano smashed it. And for the first time in 11 years, we are going to see Duke Hudson inside a reality of wrestling ring against one of the most tenured people here at the reality of wrestling. The last time we saw Duke Hudson at the reality of wrestling was at the Clear Lake Convention Center. That's a long time ago, Recreation Brad. Center. It's actually a recreation center. Oh, my. Think about that. Come a long way, Kirby. You got to imagine that Duke Hudson came in here in good spirits. From the bottom. Now we're here. Considering that Chase, you just recently got saved. And now the school is back. But tonight is a different environment. Aiden Cristiano just all smiles as he don't think he realizes how much he's kicked the hornet's nest here. Duke Hudson is just staring daggers right at Aiden Cristiano. Normally more of an easygoing guy, but Duke Hudson right now is on a mission. And look at, oh, not even gonna get him over there. Duke Hudson, oh! Managed to go right through, and the hands go up there, you see Chase U. The Roan Nation, showing their, their appreciation for Chase U, Brittany. Duke Hudson is Chase U strong. Going to school here at Reality of Wrestling and moving on to school at Chase U at NXT. This man is well-rounded in his education. That's quite the path to take for sure. Normally we don't see Aiden Cristiano get outsized by nearly anybody here at Reality of Wrestling. So you've got to imagine that Duke Hudson has an advantage that Aiden Cristiano isn't used to trying to overcome quite frequently. Oh, but looks like Aiden is taking advantage here finding any kind of pressure points to work here on Duke Hudson just twisting that arm Duke Hudson gets back up to a vertical base here what a big vertical base oh. is. He's, he's a large individual and here we go Duke Hudson firing up scoop slam into a cover one but a kick out and now going to work there on that left arm of Aiden Cristiano El Jefe Primo Juanito viewing there on the outside. We saw Jonathan Vega, Primo Juanito, and Aiden Cristiano destroy that MVP trophy. Oh! oh Aiden Cristiano now sending Duke Hudson to a corner, but Duke Hudson able to counter. Oh, runs right into the boots, though. Oh, no. And here comes the former reality Whoa! wrestling champion. Oh! Into a sidewalk slam, into a one, cover. One, two. two, but a kick out. The pressure of that lifting the apron sides of the ring. That just shows you the kind of power that Duke Hudson possesses. Whoa, he's he's, a power. He's the MVP of Chase U for a reason. Give this man his flowers. What is he looking to do? Duke Hudson not wasting any time. Primo Juanito on the outside checking on El Jefe, but Duke Hudson, you saw him point at Primo Juanito, telling him you better not get involved here. It's now, oh, wait, hold on, Primo Juanito on the outside, he having clearly, the leg of Duke Hudson. Oh. He clearly oh, didn't listen. With that opening, oh. Aiden Cristiano is back, 
in the driver's seat. And now Aiden Cristiano is interrupting the ref as El Primo Juanito tossed Duke Hudson back inside the ring, Brad. He tossed him right in there. Now Duke, not the uh, welcome home he was expecting here at the Reality of Wrestling. Go going right back to that arm. Aiden Cristiano knows what target he has now. Oh! Big shot there to the back. Now, who do you think will win oh, here? Right. Double knees right to that left arm. Cover here. One, two. two. Oh. Kick out. Now, Brittany, I got a question for you. Who do you think a win here would do more for their career? Aiden Cristiano beating an NXT superstar or Duke Hudson beating a former Reality of Wrestling champion? Uh, pass. Brad? Uh, you know what? I have no comment. Are you looking for more than that, Kirby? I was hoping for more of a uh, journalistic standpoint here as we, we have a lot of talent coming here to Reality of Wrestling. You know, we're, oh! always, we're always testing all of our talent with all kinds of talent from all over the world. Well, here's the thing, Kirby, is I would be able to say something to the effect of this would mean more for Aiden, but Aiden clearly, as you can see, oh. has an advantage, again, to the left arm, damage done. Cousin Juanito once again getting involved into a cover here now. One, two, but a kick out from Duke Hudson. That left arm is in a lot of serious pain here, Brittany. Nation cheering for Duke Hudson. Normally on Tuesdays, we see the Chase U students in the stands che cheering on everybody from Chase U. You've got to imagine that this feels a lot like home for Duke Hudson, Brittany. I mean, it is his home. And he's here trying to, but look at that, the pain of that arm. Oh, wait a oh, second. Wait a minute. Duke Hudson. Duke Hudson. Right now, I think that adrenaline might be setting in. The teachings of the U coming back to him. He's, oh. he's feeling it. Those shots, I don't even think they're affecting Duke Hudson. They're just getting him oh. even more fired up. Look at this. Here comes the MVP. Oh, oh. big shot to the midsection. Now over the back. And here comes Hudson, forearm, a second one, and the former NXT Tag Team Champion is firing up with a big boot. Cristiano doesn't know what hit him here. Aiden Cristiano is reeling, but now those fans at right hands that we see. Look at see. little flip-flop and fly! Oh! You know the kind of impact that Dusty Rhodes had on all of NXT. And now Duke Hudson. Oh, oh, into that Hudson. DDT. Into cover. the cover. One, two, two and that's it. Duke Hudson represented Chase U and NXT makes a return after 11 years to the reality of wrestling. And a triumphant victory here for the MVP of Chase U as he gets to travel back to Orlando and tell the tale oh, of his win at reality of wrestling. Still raising his arms high for that U even though the damage can be seen on that left arm. The left arm definitely hurt from Duke Hudson. Well, congratulations to Duke on the victory, the victory back here at the Reality of Wrestling. We'll see you all next week.